ladies how you doing so I want to come and show you my November makeup tray I'm pretty much got some things in here that are kind of dark I'm trying to get through some things that I have not used because for my I'm not gonna have a December tray I'm gonna use pretty much what I have I may have a tray I'm not sure but I might just pretty much keep what I have in my November tray because I haven't bought any makeup well, I bought lipsticks and lip glosses, but I had not bought any eyeshadow. I don't believe. I don't think so. I don't know. But I don't think so. But <laughs> I'm trying to wait until December when CVS has their 50 to 75 75% off sale. And that's usually every December and every June. So it's like twice a year. Well, it runs from December until when it ends and then June until when this stuff runs out. So I'm really looking forward to that. Walgreens does it as well in addition to Rite Aid. Ulta does it too because Ulta has a um, drugstore in there as well. So you can always find some goodies in there. So let me get right into it. This BB cream. I want to use this up. I had this for a while. I have about this much left in here and I want it to go. Um... I like BB cream, BB creams, but well, this particular one I haven't tried that many. But I think I'm pretty much over the whole trying to find a trying to find a foundation, trying to find a BB cream, another BB cream. I really like this one, but I'm I, I like the way ladies look when they wear their foundation. I like the way the skin looks nice and smooth. I just like the way it look or the dewy look or I'm not really a, a, a fan of like really, really, really matte, matte skin. I like it to look just a little dewy, just to come through like a little glow. Um, what else? But I'm 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 over it because apparently Kelly doesn't know what she's doing. I'm gonna show you guys something. This little basket right here is full of high end from Sephora makeup um, foundation sample. This is the Urban Decay Naked. This is Bobbi Brown. I got Mac in here. I got so many samples. I try to put it on, but apparently either I'm putting on too much or I'm not using the right brush or something. And it just looks kind of cakey on me. Back when I first started doing videos, I uh, tried on several um, foundations. They look pretty good on me or whatever. On camera, I liked the way it looked. Even in the mirror, but after a while, it just didn't look good on me. Like, I didn't know how to, I wasn't, probably wasn't setting it right. I don't know what it was, but it just didn't look good on me. But what I do find that I do like is powders. So pressed powders or um, foundation powders. Well, pretty much a pressed powder because I have not tried an actual foundation powder as of yet. So it just pretty much been pressed powders so, or an all-over bronzer I would put on my face. And that's how my Sephora is. So I use that. Like what I have on right now is an all-over bronzer. And I like the look. So I think I need to pretty much go with what I know or what I know how to use. And which is pretty much a powder so I'm gonna be looking into getting a lot of powders so I hope there's a lot of powders you know on sale come the 75% off so I have these here which are the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil I have three I tried to film this video a little while ago and I dropped everything like three times in the video so I have to do it all over again so these are the three colors right here this is the emerald this is the continuous almond and this is the uh, prolonged purple it's in I think it's endless emerald let me see yeah so that's those three and these things here are amazing I use the green one and as a base and I didn't use it in my video, and I was so upset because I should have used it, and it probably would make my made the colors look a little bit more vibrant. But I totally forgot, you know. When you're a beginner, you forget. I mean, I know for me, I forget. I just forget. I buy stuff and I forget. So that's why I have to make a tray to remind myself to use your stuff. So these here, see, I got stuff all over because it just broke. These are the Elf eyeshadow um, sticks, and. That's these two colors. This is um, Turkish Coffee and Little Miss Thing. So these are really good. These have a little a little shimmer in it, so they're good to go underneath, you know, your eyeshadow to help stick or to help, you know, make your colors a little bit more vibrant. I like these, and these are even good to wear on their own and just pluck a little powder, um, a little um, deeper color in your crease. So I do this a lot to go to work. So this is like I'm gonna do a video on my um, 
mommy on the go makeup like when i'm just want to have a decent face when i go out and i got my daughter with me and i you know i want to wear makeup i'm gonna show you how how i do my makeup with my daughter running through the house it's crazy when we're trying to go somewhere i'm gonna I'm work on that one i still to work on it with my oldest daughter every time she comes home she's like mom please so she's not even thinking about doing a video but um yeah these guys I've had these for a while. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with these. I want to get some use out, out of these. I haven't even used this one yet. This is still nicely wrapped up. I've used this one once I used the green. And it's okay. You know, it's shimmery. I'm not a real big shimmer fan. I love matte. So, I'm going to try to get some use out of it. This here is e.l.f. Now, I love e.l.f. I think e.l.f. is amazing. It's super affordable. The quality is amazing. I mean, I have not tried any of their palettes with, like, the larger numbers in it, like the maybe 15 or 20 or 55, you know, eyeshadows, because some say they're kind of chalky, but I wouldn't know. Kelly doesn't have any, and I don't even want anything with that many colors because I have palettes from BH Cosmetics I'm not even using. But this here is very, very convenient, and it has four colors, and this makes a really, really pretty neutral eye, and this one's called Beautiful Brown. So this is in Target, two bucks. You can't go wrong. I have these two singles. This is Revlon Satin. And these is, one is a green and one is a, like a deep, deep gray. The green one isn't open, but I'll open the gray one just so you can see. I thought it's, it's very shimmery. And they're very soft. So I'm going to be using those, trying to get some use out of those. And the last 75%, 50%, 75% of sale at CVS, I picked these two up, and I have not used them as of yet. So I will be getting some use out of these. So I'm probably going to do a lot of smoky eyes if I can figure it out and do it right. And you know what I'm finding out now that I'm, I'm playing and makeup a little bit more? Even though it's a technique to it, which as a beginner you have to learn it, but it's... It's about the brush, too, as well. Making sure, because, you know, if you have small eyes, you don't want to use a big old brush. So, I'm finding that a lot of my brushes that I do have are really kind of too big for my eyes. So, I'm going to have to find me some brushes. I'm not going to, you know, break no bank, and you guys know that. Especially for no makeup. And if you guys want to see, like, um, like get ready with me videos, like, me doing my hair, like, when I twist it. Like, right now you see my hair is up. I, had a, I have a twist out video that I did. It's called um, Twist Out with dry, on Dry Hair using Elastic QP. That was on Sunday. No, Saturday or something I did that. I did it on Sunday, I think it was. But the video is up. And today is Tuesday, and now I have it up. So, that Twist Out, it would have last, but I just didn't want to twist my hair no more. <laughs> I was lazy. Sorry. But this here is one here. This is another e.l.f. palette. This here is in, the, in Target as well, and this is only a dollar. You get four colors, and these colors aren't chalky because I use my friends. I opened hers up, and it wasn't even chalky. It was really, really nice. So I hope mine is nice as well, just like hers, and not chalky. And I have two last products here. This is the Physician's Form. It's the only Physician's Form that I do have. This is a shimmer stick. It has some purples in it and some uh, a bronzy and some gold, yellow. So I thought this would be kind of cute for me to break into some color as well. And my co-worker, she knew I was looking for the Milani um, single shadows in the Dollar Tree. So she picked me up this one. This one's called Java Bean. It's really little. I thought it was much bigger than this, but it's cute. I use it already. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have. And I'm going to be working this stuff out, seeing what I can do. I'm going to try to get some more makeup videos out. I'm really enjoying doing that because it's helping me learn how to do my makeup by sitting in front of a camera and knowing that I'm recording myself it makes me try to be a little bit more um I guess neater or whatever try to just to, um, it's a learning process pretty it's a learning process so if you want to see some of those videos thumbs this video up so I'll know or leave a comment below and don't forget ladies that I do have a giveaway that will be ending in two days I believe what was today the 29th so yeah two days i'm gonna put up a, um if you're not following me on instagram please do i'm gonna put up a, a picture of what's gonna be in the giveaway on the 31st so that you guys know that this is the last day so you can make sure you enter in and so you can win some makeup so that's about it guys i will talk to you later and I'll see you in the next video
拜。